Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina casts her vote as elections are currently underway. Counting will start soon after the voting ends at 4 p.m. and the initial results are expected to be presented by Monday. The main opposition party, which is the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, is however boycotting the polls after demanding PM Sheikh Hasina's resignation as the party wanted a caretaker government to administer the elections. Meanwhile, security is heightened across the country. Polls are underway on 62,000 polling stations and the polling stations will consist of a total of 2,62,000 polling booths. Meanwhile, PM Sheikh Hasina briefs media as polls are underway in Bangladesh. She shares special messages for the citizens as well as hails India-Bangladesh relations. Let's listen in. Our country is the sovereign country, sovereign independent country. Maybe it's a small country, but we have big population. So people's right. We have, we have established people's democratic right and also right to their better life or their prosperous life. That is our main aim. We want to do that. So I'm trying my best to ensure that democracy should continue in this country. Well, India is our tested friend during our liberation war. They supported us. Not only that, after 75, when we lost, we two sisters, you can see. When we lost our whole family, father, mother, brothers, everybody, only we two survived. So they can be shelter. So we have our best wishes to people of, to the people of India. My colleague Akshay Gupta joins us on the broadcast. Akshay, of course, now voting has started in Bangladesh. We've also heard what uh, the PM had to say about India-Bangladesh relations. But uh, what more details can you share with our viewers? Voting is underway in Bangladesh. Uh, Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has uh, extended her wishes uh, for India and has also said that uh, Bangladesh is lucky to have a trusted friend like India. She also highlighted uh, India's support during the liberation war in 1971. Uh, and, uh, you know, PM Hasina also recounted the horrors of, of her family's massacre in 1975 in which her fa whole family was killed and she lived in exile in India for years and she later returned to Bangladesh and took over the Awami League. Well, she is, of course, eyeing for the next term once again. Uh, but perhaps uh, a point to be noted here is that without opposition, uh, because opposition has boycotted the elections, uh, saying that you know, free and fair elections cannot be conducted under the incumbent regime, and, you know, after casting uh, uh, her vote, uh, Sheikh Hasina uh, actually emphasized the importance of democracy for the development of the country uh, and also said that our government in past years has established uh, people's uh, democratic rights. And she also underscored that our government created an atmosphere where people are able to come out and vote. Well, these elections are perhaps also very uh, important when it comes to India. Uh, because Sheikh Hasina, Bangladesh being a crucial ally, uh, and of course the eastern neighbors, of course uh, the the ramifications of the election uh, of the elections uh, will be important to see. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.